Hey guys, okay, so another book review on The Secret of Wall Oaks. And I remember every detail of this book, so this is gonna be a long one. Probably. I don't know. My book reviews are pretty short now. They've been shortening. Anyway, um, so I've already told you a little bit about it. It's about a girl, a 13 year old girl. Her name is Lila. And for her family vacation, they're going to Louisiana. And, um, sorry, okay, um, I was reading it, um, it's a horror story, a chilling ghost story based on one of the most haunted places in America, so I don't know if it's true. <laughs> um, by Louis Ruby, and it's about a girl named Lila, she's 13 years old, and she goes on a bad Wednesday vacation in Louisiana. Her parents and her brother scoff, or at the, or scoff at the claim that the house is haunted. Scoff, you know, they don't believe it. But Lila isn't ready to miss the idea. Ever since her friend Roberto died, She's been hearing his voice in the middle of the night, but there's no such thing as ghosts, are there? Maybe here at Laurel Oaks, Lila will find out for sure. And then it's about a girl and her last, and her name is Stephanie, and she was one of the first that was at the plantation when she was alive, which had been converted into a hotel, which Lila can speak to Daphne, and Daphne's tree that can speak and love Lila. Um, and all the other bad ones, she can feel them and see them and stuff like that. So Daphne was once alive. Daphne was alive once long ago. She was a house slave to Judge Nethercott at Leather Laurel Oaks Plantation. She met her in the nursery waters of the Mississippi, and she was accused of poisoning her master's wife and two little girls. For two centuries, Daphne has been has been waiting, waiting for the one who can discover the truth and set her spirit free. Could Lila be the one? Um, spoiler alert, she does. She can. But it's a beautiful book, and you would never accuse, when you read it, you would never accuse Daphne of that. Ever. But because she, she loved those little girls and her master's wife, and. But. Anyway, it's an amazing book, and I don't want to spoil it too much for you, just enough to get you to want to read it. I will give it five star, thumbs up. Great book. Um, if you're even into slavery, it'd be even better. I wasn't. I read it. I loved it. You, she's such a good writer. You can really, you feel like you're there, but um, the chapters go back and forth between Lila and Daphne, and sometimes it's Lila, Lila, Daphne, Daphne, but mostly it's back and forth. But, um, great book. It's a need to read. It's been a spooky and engrossing book. Yeah, I don't know where you can find this. I, I found it. An old book I had, and I read it. It's not in that great of condition, I guess. I never even seen the book before. I found it. Nice too, so. Good book. Um, you should read it by Louis Louis Ruby. The Secret of Lyle Oaks. And it looks like that. I really liked it when I first seen it. I mean, it has just you know, the cracks in this and the cut off edge. I don't know what happened to it. Because it's been torn apart by a baby. Um, it, you know, I mean, it, ha it happens. But, <laughs> um, you wouldn't think it'd be about slavery because it's a girl in a graveyard. And I thought it'd be like, it's a graveyard, you know. It's about this. Sorry, I was reading. I got a Facebook message. Um, alright, well, that's it for The Secret of All Oaks by Lewis Ruby. Book review. I loved it. I think it's a need to read. Five stars. Thumbs up. Great book. Alright, hope you liked it. Bye!